Talking about cloud, we always keep hearing heavy words like public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud, and a lot more. As if the word cloud was not enough, on the top of that, all these categories only add to the confusion. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. Today in the part 4 of our Cloud for Everyone series, I will explain in simple language what is public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud. The objective of this video is that you understand these terms and can use them in your daily office talks. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that because soon I am bringing a detailed video on public cloud, private cloud and hybrid cloud. In that video, I will give you examples the way you will never forget these concepts and once and for all these concepts will be ease for you. For now, let's start this high level video and understand the terms public cloud, private cloud and hybrid cloud. Before we take a deep dive on public cloud, private cloud and hybrid cloud, let's first understand where all it started. It all started with on-premise. By definition, on-premise is our good old days. My company, my servers, my data center. So all servers, network, upgrades, patches, all are my responsibility. Just as a side note, when I say my, it doesn't mean some individual person. It's more like the company itself. So the company itself maintain the servers, do upgrades, maintain network and everything else. So everything was in control. The company will own all the servers, the network, data centers, and they will install the patches, software, what they want, applications, what they work for. What was the problem then? If everything was in such a control, why did we ever move to cloud? That's the question. And the answer to this is, with great power comes great responsibility. So you were responsible for everything. It seems that you're still confused. Well, let me give you an example. Let's suppose that you are a big company selling cookies. I hope you remember my last example, sunnycookies.com. So now you want to sell cookies and you don't want to maintain big servers or network or install patches or maintain dedicated employees. Certainly, that's not your forte. You just want to sell cookies. And this is exactly where cloud comes in. So, you move the responsibility to maintain data center, servers, network to a third party, who is also known as cloud provider. For example, Microsoft Azure, Amazon AWS, or Google GCP. After all, you need good chefs to make great cookies an efficient salesman to sell them. You don't want to maintain a big IT team. Well, anyways, they are not good in cooking. So now that you understand why we need cloud, let's understand the different type of cloud offerings. So in a public cloud, big tech giants like Microsoft, Amazon or Google, they maintain a huge array of resources like servers and storage. You as a customer, access all these resources over the internet. You just consume the resources and pay for what you use. You focus on your primary business and these cloud provider maintain everything for you like servers, routers, storage, network, patches and a lot more. Similarly, many customers like you avail these facilities from a cloud provider. Moving on, we have private cloud. In private cloud, the computing resources are exclusively used by one business or organization. Private cloud can physically be located at your own company, on-site data center, or it can be hosted by a third-party cloud provider as well. Important to note is that in private cloud, services and infrastructure are always maintained on a private network and all underlying hardware and software are exclusive to one organization. Now let's understand the hybrid cloud. Hybrid is a combination of both public cloud and private cloud. Let's understand with an example. Suppose your company already has its own data center and this data center is good enough to handle the normal business days. However, on weekends or 
on festival a spike in sales is expected so to handle this short term spike in demand or sales you use public cloud this use of your existing data center for normal days while leveraging public cloud to handle spikes is known as hybrid cloud thus hybrid cloud refers to a mix of computing storage and services environment made up of on premise infrastructure private cloud services and a public cloud now let's summarize once again what we learned in the previous slide look at these boxes in your on premise the data center is with you so you your company you maintain your data centers your servers your network and everything when you move to a public cloud the data center maintenance is moved to the public cloud provider so you do your own business and do what you want to do and all the hardware software is maintained by the public cloud provider for example microsoft azure or google or amazon then in the private cloud the data center could be within your on prem or it can also be maintained by the public cloud provider however the important thing to note that in private cloud all the services and infrastructure are maintained on a private network then in the hybrid cloud you leverage the power of both your own data center and the power of public cloud you merge and you use you customize your solution to use both of them now here is a quick comparison between public cloud private cloud and hybrid cloud private cloud are single tenant which means that they are used by a single company or organization while on the other hand huge number of companies organization individuals access public cloud private cloud are better suited for custom application needs while on the public cloud you have to depend on the offerings provided by the cloud provider however with growing number of technologies coming in public cloud you should be able to cater just about any of your custom need private cloud is very secure as they work on private networks having said that that doesn't mean that public clouds are not secure it's just that they might not be able to handle some particular security need now in between the two let's look at hybrid cloud hybrid cloud serves best of both worlds it's secure safe and also can be customized to suit your special needs i hope this part 4 of our cloud for everyone series has helped you understand public cloud private cloud and hybrid cloud don't forget to check out the other parts in this series the playlist is now available in the i button above and in the description box below if this video has added any value in your learning a like and subscribe is highly appreciated share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and i look forward for them we will meet again in our next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching